Hey, 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 and welcome in or welcome back to Sound Wisdom Tarot. I'm Shannon Rose Scott, and this is your career reading. I have pre-shuffled these decks because I happen to be in a hostel right now, and I'm the only one here, and it's so pretty, so I thought I would uh, do a reading for you. Um, but I do need to try to keep this shorter than usual. So I've pre-shuffled and I won't be uh, letting the cards, well, I mean, if they jump, they jump, <laughs> but I am going to be pulling cards for this reading. This is your career and abundance reading for the general collective, timeless. Timeless meaning that whenever you've happened upon this reading is when it's for you. And general meaning that it's for like a multitude of people. So not everything in this reading is going to fit, okay? And that's totally okay. Please do not force anything to fit. Only pick and choose what actually resonates for you. And that's how you can begin tapping into your own inner wisdom. So let's get into it. Let's get into it, my friends. Here we go. Spirit guides, high divine, intergalactical beings, and angel guides. Please help me connect to the spirit guides of my collective tuning in here for their ooh, career reading. Okay, we've already got an overall message that did jump through. The jumpers still like to jump. And you've got the magician. The magician, I love this. This is amazing. So this is a sign for you, collective, that you have everything it takes to manifest the career of your dreams. Like, especially right now, like in this moment, all right? Be and it's important that you actually focus on your manifestation powers because right now, what you are putting your awareness and thought attention into is, is manifesting quickly. So that's even the things like you necessarily don't want to manifest but are thinking about. So this is a sign that it's really important right now that you be intentional with your thoughts because you are manifesting so quickly in this moment. The magician can create amazing things out of nothing, right? Like poof, magic trick. And that's what you've got going for you right now. You've got this power of the magician at your fingertips. You've also got like all the elements you need. The magician works with earth, air, fire, and water. And so this is a sign for you to also tap into all of your abilities. Your ability of thinking, which I already talked about but also your ability to tap in and use your emotions. Emotions are represented by water. Your emotions can give you clarity regarding your career. This is a sign to pay attention to when you're feeling um, at ease, comfortable, happy, inspired, that means you're on the right track. And to notice when you're feeling anxious, at dis-ease, perhaps even angry or frustrated, that's a sign you're out of alignment somehow. So use your thoughts to change your reality by focusing on what it is you want to draw in based on your emotional wisdom and the messages your emotions are giving you. You also have fire element. That's your get up and go, your drive. Right now, use your drive towards your career, towards the things that inspire you. And you have the element of earth. So that's the ability to actually manifest it. <laughs> okay. And to use the tools like in the physical world. So let's get into it more. This is your overall energy, the magician. You have what it takes to manifest it all. 
let's see more. Oh yes, I, I still want this deck. Okay, so I want three cards. Here we go, one, two, three. We've got Justice. I'm gonna pull all the cards and then we'll we'll get into them. Justice. Thank you. We've got ooh, page of cups. I love it. And ooh, the four of cups in reverse. Very good. Okay. Next deck. Clarifying justice. Clarifying page of cups. Clarifying. Four of Cups in reverse. One, two, three. All right. Clarifying justice, please. <laughs> justice, what? <laughs> oh, Taro, how I love thee. So powerful. Okay, clarifying Page of Cups. Five of Pentacles. And clarifying Four of Cups in reverse. Ace of Wands in reverse. Okay. Oh, wait a minute, I pulled that from the wrong deck. There's a reason I did that, but let me pull the King of Pentacles. Good, okay. Interesting, interesting that I, there's no accidents in tarot, so it's interesting, uh, I'm, I'm excited to see where that takes us. And finally, advice. Advice for justice, advice for Page of Cups and Five of Pentacles. And advice for Four of Cups in reverse, Ace of Wands in reverse, and King of Pentacles, please. Ooh, Ace of Wands. Four of Wands, yes. And finally, ooh, the Lovers. Okay, I like it. I like it, Collective. This is interesting. Okay, so... Regarding your career, your abundance mindset. In the past, you've been really working hard. And a lot of things were playing out regarding, like you were playing, you were, work, you were trying really hard to make things fair and just. And this was clarif like this was clarifying this. <laughs> so it's important, like this is a doubly important card, this card of justice, of having balance, of having things equal each other out, making sure that your life is in balance, your play and your work, right? That work life are in balance. Making sure that when you do work, that everyone is taking like is doing their fair share taking their fair share and offering their fair share. And it was really important to you that things were done like from a moral high ground. This version, the Light Sears version of the Justice card, we have kind of like the the two sides of the person, the light and the dark. So that shows me in your career, you've also been trying to balance your light and your shadow. And in this version, the little itty bitty witch tarot deck version, the justice card is shown by a woman who's blindfolded and allowing herself, like allowing higher justice to be in charge, right? Like 5D justice to be the guide and to guide your path. based on this seeking fairness in your work 
and in your life. This high sense of morality and wanting things to be in balance. That's why right now you get to be working on something that you really love. Here we have the Page of Cups, who's shown doing something artistic, right? Some people view, you know, the arts as being like a frivolous thing, but this is your career. So this is, and by the way, I definitely don't view the arts as being a frivolous thing, but I know that some people don't view like the, the you know, being an artist or an actor or a musician as being like a real job. And yet right now you get to do this fun thing as your real job. And that's because I think you've been someone who really played fairly, who worked fairly, who's already worked really hard in life and who honors like spirit absolutely. Spirit absolutely gives credit to the artist. It's only the modern world, you know, that will kind of put down the arts. But the arts is considered one of the most divine avenues of work because it's in direct contact with the divine. So now, because of that justice you've earned, now you're being given an opportunity, or you will be soon, to have a job that you love. The Page of Cups is also like a love offer and a brand new offer coming in. And this is in your current position. It's up to you to take it and to move forward on the path. Now there's a part of you that feels like you don't deserve it because you've got five of pentacles. This is like the abundance, um, this is lack mindset versus abundance mindset. This person feels like they're in poverty. They feel shut out in the cold. When in fact, right here is the doorway to the divine, the doorway to spirit and the key is right there. The doorway to divine abundance of all forms, divine help, Guidance is the door is right here. The key is right there. The person just has to stop dwelling in the negatives. Dwelling in the thoughts of, oh, I don't deserve that. And actually take the doorway, take the path towards their heart. Yeah, I'm getting a strong message that there's people tuning in right now that are, are really being able to live a life, a creative life. Well, maybe it's not as a musician, as an artist, as a writer in, in one of those creative fields, but to live a creative life, to live something that you're actually passionate about. But there's a huge part of you that, yes, feels like you, you're not worthy. Maybe because in the past, you had to really learn this lesson of justice. Maybe because things weren't just in your past, not by you, but to you. And so you got used to feeling like, oh, I don't, I don't deserve good things because they don't ever happen to me. But all of that work you've done in the past is coming around now. Now you get your just rewards. Because when you allow yourself to actually have this career of your dreams, and by the way, the Page of Cups is also that, that card of like, when pigs fly, so it's like the, the kind of career that other people say could never happen. Well, guess what? It's here because it can happen for you.
And so because if, if you take up this pathway and let yourself go for it, in the near future, you're no longer going to feel bored. Four of Cups in reverse. This is the most likely step to happen if you actually do this job that's being in your current placement. If you take on this more creative opportunity, you get to turn this feeling of being bored with life, being unsatisfied with your life, and turn it upside down. Meaning you will no longer feel bored or displeased with your life. Ah, an Ace of Wands came up in reverse with this card, and yet in your first placement with the Justice, your Advice card was also Ace of Wands, but this time upright. Ace of Wands is saying yes to something you're passionate about that sparks your imagination, that sparks your internal drive that gives you that get up and go. This was a divinely inspired idea that is leading to this, this yearning and opportunity for this more creative career, this artistic expression. And there's a potential of it coming up in reverse in the future because there's a part of you that is going to be tempted to stay stuck in this lack mindset instead of giving yourself permission to go for it. These are the same card. You have two of the same cards clarifying the card in this reading. That's like, that's like double confirmation. In this case, one was in reverse. So this is a big warning from spirit that you need to say yes to your drive and passion because it's divinely inspired. See how this, in this version, the Light Seer's version of the same card of the Ace of Wands, this fire flame is like right in the third eye, right? It's been divinely inspired. This is not just some guilty pleasure, okay? This is not just some something for children. To do no this is this is divine spirit wants you to offer this creative pursuit that you're passionate about because look at this when you do instead of being in poverty you get to be king of pentacles By you following this creative pursuit and no longer being bored with your life, you'll actually have the energy you need to work at this craft because it'll be fun. It'll be something you want to do. And you'll work like hard on that. Just because it's creative and fun doesn't mean you're not going to work hard. Anyone who does artistry of any kind knows that it's hard work, knows it's not an easy fluff job. <laughs> And it's going to lead you to having a, like to being the master of abundance. The king of pentacles is like, has it all. The king of pentacles knows how to work hard, but look at this, but easily. And, and therefore attracts huge abundance. Huge abundance. You've got abundance of all kinds available to you abundance of money but also abundance of being at the right place at the right time abundance of gifts coming in in unexpected forms abundance of friends family yeah and by you following your heart's passion and doing, taking on this creative role, it's gonna lead you to your four of wands. This is the 11, 11 card. This is like feeling 
like ma ma this is also like the marriage card so it's like being married to your work like this is you like being like yes i want to say yes to this job forever right instead of feeling because you got to turn this cup upside down this this card upside down which is a good thing the four of cups the four of cups that cup that card of being bored with your work bored with your life when you actually say yes to your creative pursuit and are no longer bored with life you're gonna like actually want to commit to your job this new creative passion and you get the lovers too so it's like truly being in love with your life in love with your career this is more than just some day job this is your purpose this creative pursuit is your purpose it was divinely inspired. It is giving you justice from your past. I, I, I can't get over actually what an amazing reading this is and a reminder that at the very beginning you had this magician, meaning you have everything it takes to have this career of your dreams. And the time is now to manifest it. Use your thoughts and your emotions to help bring yourself out of lack. Okay, so when you notice you're in that lack mindset, you'll notice it because of how you feel. You'll feel depressed, sad, you'll feel scared. You'll feel like you, um, you won't feel worthy of having this dream life, that's a key sign that you need to do a big like cancel, cancel in your head, right? Use your thoughts and actually visualize making this X with your arms. You can actually do it with your arms or with your fingers. So cancel, cancel. I used to be the kind of person that thought those thoughts. I used to be the kind of person that existed in lack mentality and now I can do the job I love and have dreamed of my entire life. I am worthy of the job I have dreamed of my entire life. I have everything I need to manifest this creative pursuit. I always have everything I need. I always attract the abundance I need to make this job happen. I always attract gifts, money, finances, what I need to do this job out of thin air. I want you to start changing your thoughts. And remember, you don't have to believe the thoughts to practice them, to practice this new mindset. You're going to have to keep choosing. This card of the lovers is also a card of choices. So you're going to have to keep choosing this instead of this, okay? You're going to have to keep choosing your creative job instead of lack mentality. You need to keep choosing to be married to your job, your passion project job instead of going back to lack mindset. It's not gonna be like an easy ride, but it's gonna be way more fun than what you used to do. And you are worthy of it. This is your just rewards for your old past life, for all the work you've done. You are worthy of this brand new opportunity. You are worthy of something that, that also brings beauty to the world, right? However you're being creative, you're, you're bringing beauty to the world. You're bringing inspiration to the world. This in itself is enough, right? Not everyone needs to to do the regular day jobs to contribute to society. The artists, the artists in many ways contribute the most. 
because the artists are the one who inspire people, who lift people up. And by artists, I mean artists of all kinds, okay? The artists are the ones who inspire and lift people up out of depression, out of anger, out of sadness. So what message do we have, please, Spirit? Yeah, it's time to let yourself have peace and harmony. It's time to focus more on, on having peace in your life. And you'll bring peace and harmony through your art to others. What else? Oh, that one jumped. Get your power back. Ah, you've forgotten who you are. You are a child of the divine, so take back your power. Ooh. I want you to take a screenshot of that. so that you can remember. You've forgotten who you are, but you're a child of the divine. Take back your power. Let yourself create. The world doesn't need any more doers, it needs more creators. I love this reading for you. I wanna know, how, how is this resonating for you? What is this new creative pursuit that you like are inspired to do? I want you to claim this energy. Drop me a comment letting me know what is this creative pursuit of yours. Like claim it, claim it with the words in the comments below. And you know, the more you comment, the more I can tap into your energy for future readings. Even if you just wanna give me an emoji, right? Like music notes or food for cooking, or an artist palette, or the drama masks, or an instrument, or a dancer, or a writing, or a, 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 the internet or laptop for, for online work. Like, how is it that you are creative? Gardening, plants. Let's see how creative we can be with our emojis to tell our story. <laughs> emojis and of course words words you can share with words and stories and share your story and help inspire all those others that are here part of our sound wisdom community it helps so much for the others to see your comments too i'm always really curious as to how these readings are showing up in your life, how they can be interpreted uniquely by you. And I'm really so honored every time you do contribute to this channel through your comments. And thank you, thank you, by the way, for all the likes. Go ahead and like this video if you haven't. Ah, thank you for doing that right now. And thank you, thank you for everyone who subscribed and all my new subscribers doing that right now. I feel like the only thing in this particular reading that could be holding you back, the only thing is you not saying yes to your passion because of this lack mindset. And that's something you can easily change. There's actually no people here holding you back. There's no situations holding you back except your own. You've got so many power cards here. You've got the magician. You've got justice behind you twice. You are the king of pentacles and you have this potential to become that like right away, like in the very near future. You've got the opportunity for pure love and wanting to be committed to your job. Like, to actually love your life for once. You've got the when pigs fly card, like you've got everything you need here. Get your power back. By taking your power back, it will give you the peace and harmony you've been seeking your whole life. I love this for you. I love this for me too. <laughs> Yes, so thank you, Collective. You are the most important part of any reading. It's been such an honor to read for you. Like, you're a very special Collective tuning in, those of you who are here for this particular reading. 
artists have such well have such a, a strong place in my heart and I'm 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 honored to have been here for you. So until next time collective, keep tuning into your inner wisdom. And I'll see you in the next reading.